Hi, today at GEM we're talking about age pension, which currently is available to uh, any Australian residents over the age of 65. It's a little bit less for women at the moment, but that's uh, shortly to change up to 65 as it is for men. It's subject, of course, to a means test, uh, and let's have a look at that now. The means test is simply an income test or an asset test. What Centrelink will do is that they'll look at you under both tests and they'll work out which one pays you the lower amount of pension and pay you that. So looking at the income test first, what do they count as income? Well, what Centrelink will count as income is any employment income if you still have it. They'll count uh, investment income. They'll also include defined benefit superannuation funds. So things such as, say, a Commonwealth uh, Government superannuation pension, for example, the gross amount of that before tax will be counted as income. Uh, and finally, if you're receiving any allocated pension income, some of that will be received, uh, counted toward the income test, but there's a quite a deep discount under allocated pension income toward the income test, and we'll come back to that later. Under the asset test, they'll really have a look at all of your assets, except for the value of your house, uh, and they also won't count uh, um, the value of superannuation money if it's held in someone's name who's under the age of 65. And just to put the uh, means test in perspective, particularly the asset test, uh, most people are actually surprised that uh, a couple who own their own home can have a, around about a million dollars other than the value of their house and uh, superannuation if they're under 65 and still get a part pension. In looking at how you can maximise entitlements, we would flag that generally it's the asset test that uh, is far more punitive to people than the income test. So two of our tips are based around the asset test and the other is based around the income test. The first strategy is if you have a younger spouse, then it's, uh, and a younger spouse, say, under the age of 65, it's possible to invest money in superannuation in that, in that person's name and be completely exempt under means testing, both under the asset test and the income test. The other strategy to minimise your assets under the asset test is to advise Centrelink of the fire sale value of your contents rather than the insured value of your contents. Typically, most people would put down a contents and a personal effects value somewhere between five and $10,000. The last tip we have for you today is based around the income test and uh, typically those who are affected by the income test are those who are receiving some other form of, government, of uh, defined benefit superannuation pension uh, such as a ComSuper pension or a DFRDB pension or, or, or a state government superannuation pension. Uh, it may be possible that you can invest money in something called an allocated pension which is part of the superannuation system. So if you can get money into an allocated pension, uh, the amount of income that gets paid out of that pension carries a deep discount under the income test. Uh, very difficult to explain here in a short video, but we'd encourage you if, uh, if you're affected by the income test to get advice on whether an allocated pension can help you. Well that's it for uh, a, a quick two minute overview of uh, age pension entitlements in Australia. We have got a, a one page fact sheet on our website in the investor section at www.com.au uh, but Centrelink legislation is right up there with tax legislation for complexity so we'd really encourage you to get some specific advice to your situation.